Tenali Raman and the secret of weaving invisible fabric. The kingdom of Vijayanagar was ruled by King Krishna Dev Rai. The usual activities of the day were halted as a gorgeous woman entered the royal court. After the formal greetings, she took out a small box. From the box, she took out a sari that was so sheer and delicate it barely covered her hand. After showing the sari to the royal court attendants, she addressed the king. Oh great king, I have a group of very talented weavers who know the secret of weaving this beautiful, most delicate and finest celestial fabric which cannot be seen by the naked eye. She continued, with your blessings and financial support, these weavers can work wonders and exhibit before the honorable king. The king was impressed by the exhibit ah. and believed her. After allotting the funds, the king asked the lady to get the work done with thorough research in one year. Over the span of a year, the beautiful lady and the workers lived in the royal guest house and enjoyed ah. the royal treatment extended by the king. However, even after one year, there was no news of the research and neither was any fabric exhibited by the weavers. On the king's orders, the ministers went to the guest house to inspect on the lady and the weavers. The ministers were greeted by the lady and she took them to the weavers. The weavers were so busy with their task that they didn't notice the ministers in the room. The ministers stood confused. Mm. The weavers seemed to be working on the looms with invisible threads. There wasn't even a small bit of real thread in the room or the promised celestial fabric. Mm -hmm. They looked at the lady who innocently looked at them and said, Please touch the cloth and feel the exquisite design and craftsmanship of our talented weavers. The confused ministers looked at each other and said, Dear lady, we are unable to see the cloth. The lady looked at them and replied, The cloth can only be seen by the pure-hearted who have no malice in them. The ministers looked at each other guiltily hmm? and nodded that indeed the fabric was beautiful. They went back with their heads bowed low and reported to the king that the work was going on very well and that the cloth was beautiful. Listening to the praises of the celestial cloth, the king was very eager to see it. He asked for the fabric to be brought to him. On the appointed day, the lady assembled with the weavers in the royal court. The royal court was packed with spectators wanting to have a look at this celestial fabric. The lady came forward to introduce the gifted weavers to the crowd. These weavers are the finest in the world. They have woven this exquisite cloth with divine material. She then proceeded to take the fabric out of its box and presented it to the king. The king looked at the lady in wonder. The lady beamed with pride and said, Is the cloth not beautiful, your majesty? The crowd looked at each other hmm? and then at the king. Hmm? There was a loud murmur in the crowd. The king was embarrassed that he hmm? couldn't see the cloth. Tinali Raman rose up and whispered to the king, Your Majesty, I am afraid we have been cheated. He went up to the lady and said, Dear lady, I am afraid we are not able to see the cloth. The lady indignantly replied, The divine cloth can only be seen by someone with no malice in their hearts. Tinali Raman replied, Dear lady, the king wishes you to please be good enough to wear this cloth so that we can see the fine craftsmanship of the cloth. The crowd is very eager to see the cloth and how it would look on a beautiful lady like you. The crowd cheered. Unable to refuse the king's orders, the lady broke down and started to cry. She fell at the king's feet and begged for pardon. The king pardoned her and she went away with her weavers. Hmm, no matter how beautiful a lie is, it will not take you far.